Uh, joining us for the latest managerial interview is joint manager Neil Baker. Um, I guess a much better performance than Tuesday night is the main yeah. bonus of it. Yes, it's a defeat, yeah. but yeah. Um, much better than Tuesday, totally. Yeah, 100%. Um, we, we come away you know, really positive, obviously, you know, disappointed that we've conceded two free kicks, you know. Um, um, but I have to say, I thought we were really good. I thought first, I was just saying to somebody uh, as I was leaving, you know, in, in a normal game, you know, we were on top in the first half. You know, we, we should have probably been going in at two one up, and um, you wouldn't change anything, you know. So, um, but it becomes because it's pre-season, you're you're making changes to get certain people minutes and and whatever else. But um, I thought we were very good first half. I thought they had more of the ball second half. We changed our shape, obviously again, to get the relevant um, players minutes. Um, but we we were really pleased with uh, you know a lot today. Um, obviously disappointed to concede four goals. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's uh, you know they're a good side. Don't get me wrong, but still a little bit disappointed in that. But um, on the whole, you know it was a good good uh, good afternoon. Again, it's an, another 90 minutes for a lot of them, and uh, so we've got two weeks to to get ourselves ready. And uh, I thought thought today was definitely a step in the right direction. Is it giving you a bit more of a clearer view of whether you're going to? Play two up front or one up front? Is that major? Who knows, Aid? Who knows? Uh, now listen. I mean, the thing is, what we have to be is adaptable. Um, we need to be able to play two up top. We need to play up one up top. Um, certain games going to dictate our formation, our shape. Um, sometimes whether we're here, whether we're away from home. Um, so that's why. That's obviously why we looked at the two up top today. Uh, I thought Ben. Ben's obviously taken his goals very nicely, um, two good finishes, but I thought we caused him lots of problems and, and I thought we passed the ball very well, especially first half. And um, Yeah, no, we, we, nobody likes to lose a game, but you don't lose any points in pre-season. Um, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm very competitive. I, I, I want to win. I want to win everything. But we could tell that. But it, the but abuse you were giving the referee. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, like, but there's you know a couple of basic basic um, decisions that they've got and we haven't got. You know, it's frustrating. But um, on on the whole, we, see, pre-season is is so difficult to sometimes get into people's minds because you're changing the way you play the the the, the personnel just because. You've got to share out the minutes. You know, if, if as I said, if we if we were in a league game today, we sit there, we, we keep the same shape, we keep the same eleven on the pitch because they've done that, they've done really well. So, um, but but it's not. It's pre-season, <laughs> so so you, you change things up that you might not necessarily do, and uh, and and that's, and that's it is what it is. So, but no, I, I'm really pleased with uh, with um, a lot today, and uh, you know, yeah, we'll we'll come on a game for for today. Yeah, first half, obviously, you did well. Um, Jack McKnight had a very good first half. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Are you expecting a lot from him? Um, well, sorry, in terms of? Is what he gives to the team. Because yeah, I mean... Popping up on the yeah, inside, dropping But I thought back. both him and Lynch did that first half. Um, you know, both of them probably, you know, would prefer to be more, more central. Um, but... They both can come in, come inside, you know, from from that sort of wide, wide area. Because you know, whether you play it as a four four two, whether you play it as a, a diamond, there's so many different ways of, of doing it. And I thought we were really fluid um, with the four four in midfield first half, especially. So um, no, that, that you know, there were some there were some good performances today. Um, you know, again, ridiculously defensively, we've actually done all right today. I mean, you've got to remember there's two free kicks that have been bent over the wall. Um, that that happens you know I think I always say that you know more often than not if a if a ball's sort of bent over over the wall then you know there's not a lot you can do so um, but that's 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 football that's frustrating um, but it is what it is but no on the whole on the whole pleased um, second half you had young Adder from mm -hmm. the under 23s yep up front on his own how difficult is it for him what do you say to him because He's, he's up front on his own. He's chasing against a very, very good side. Yeah. Would like to play it off. Yeah. Um, because he's, he hasn't really shown as much today as he did in the other game. No, but, but he's, you can see that he's obviously got something there. Absolutely. I mean, you know, he's still he's still um, made a couple of situations into real positives for us. Um, you know, he's almost made a, made himself a goal himself. Um, and it is. You know, listen, whenever you play 
on your own up top, it's it's difficult. It's it's not an easy easy game, and especially for a young like young lad like himself. But you know, he's come in, and he's done really well. You know, um, Ash has put together a really good under 23s team, and and um, at the moment, you know, we 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 want to sort of keep him involved with us, and it might be that you know we see him in a two, which maybe helps him a little bit. Um, but I thought the you know the one or two times that he had the opportunity to get on the ball and and, and um, attack, he, he did well. So um, I think he's a positive. He's a, he absolutely is a positive. So um, yeah, no. I, I, again, um, yeah, I, I, I'm just I'm just um, you know pleased in in the way we reacted from from Tuesday um, because obviously you know that was not a, a pleasant evening and uh, you know I thought we reacted in the, in the right way today and. Uh, so credit to the lads and the same, we're still two weeks, we would be probably in normal circumstances probably two and a half weeks into pre-season at this stage, you know with two weeks left to go we'd be two and a half weeks in, so you know we've, we've, got, we've got plenty of time still. So order shot on Tuesday, any changes, anyone coming in maybe, you had well, a young trialist today? Yeah, um, we, we'll, we'll possibly have, you know, we'll probably have another look at him on Tuesday. Um, Ollie McCoy's um, been struggling with an ankle injury. Obviously, Lee Togwell struggling with an ankle injury. Warren Harris um, has potential had coronavirus, um, so he's been away. Um, so um, I don't know whether he will be able to be with us on Tuesday either. Um, so you know, you, you, you obviously when you're missing Warren and Lee as well, they're two mainstays of the of the side usually. So um, you know, obviously we've got those to come back, but we're not going to push push that. Let's say we we've, we've got the two weeks, hopefully, um, till the season starts. And and uh, yeah, you know, like I, I was pleased with you know a lot today. Uh, finally, uh, young Lee Togwell, mm -hmm. we call him young because young. he is a lot younger than people think. Yep. Um, him and his wife celebrated the birth of a baby boy this they week. They did, they did. Have you been in his ear to possibly call it Neil? Uh, no, 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 definitely not, definitely not. So, no, it's great, great for them. Um, yeah, he, he was unable to train on Thursday because I think um, uh, they, they had their hands full, you know, in the first week. So uh, it's great to see him back today. So um, sort of first time in, uh, in a couple of weeks really as well because we had the issue with, with Sam, you know, who, who was ill as well, had coronavirus and, and, and obviously Lee being his brother, he had to self-isolate. So, you know, it's, but this is the new world that we live in I guess and, and I'm sure we're going to have more and more of that as we uh, as we go on but no great for great for uh, for the Togwells um, to have their second edition. Thanks for joining us Neil. Thanks cheers so much. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. Nice one.